great. We are live. Amazing. And as always, I will wait a few moments for you all time to come online. And I will go along and invite some of you as well. And if you're watching this on the replay, then please let me know how you're doing and do post even if you're on the replay because then I can follow up with you in the comments. Hi Emery! Oh, so happy you're here! How are you doing, Em? Okay, let's wait one more minute and then we'll start. Okay. So confidence, um, I'm sharing this with you today because so many of you have asked me how they can cultivate confidence. It really seems to be something that most of us struggle with and because I'm not normally somebody who, um, who struggles with confidence, it took me a long time to actually feel into what a good practice might be. and. Um, Many of you know already that I have to attend a court meeting in two weeks. And for the first time, you know, I felt like, wow, I think, you know, this would be a really good um, point in my life to practice confidence so that once I stand in front of that judge, I will not freak out in front of all of the accusations that have been made against me. So, yeah, and then all of a sudden that, that practice came to me and now I'm really excited to share it with you. Uh, hi Clarissa, this is my beautiful cousin who's just joined us and this is her living room. So this is very cool. Hi Courtney, so nice you're here as well. And Marie, Courtney, Clarissa, all let me know how you're doing please. I always want to know what we all bring to the space. And I actually feel really good today. I don't know what happened but this is the best I felt in two weeks and yeah, I'm not questioning it. I'm just happy it's, it's the way it is and that I can be here with you tonight. That's really amazing. So confidence, let's dive right into it. Um, confidence has nothing to do with what we look like or how good we are at certain things. Like I can tell you from my own experience that um, at the time of my life where I had the most amazing abs and the most amazing skin and where I weighed like 48 kg and still had beautiful full breasts, I didn't feel confident at all. Um, and now my breasts definitely show the sign of, of feeding my son for one and a half years. My abs are not visible anymore and my skin is far from perfect. And still I feel that much more confident. Why? Because I have learned to look within. And I have committed to making peace with who I am and to uncover more and more of that along the way. Like before, you know, it was always like whenever anybody said something to me, like, like everything was criticism for me for a long time. And I always felt like I should be different than what I was really like. And I defined myself so much by my actions, my words, my clothes, my hairdo, all of that kind of thing. And since I'm, I really learned what's actually inside of me and that that counts so much more than all the outer appearances. I just feel that much more at peace with with who I am and you know I cultivate that and increase that feeling by just consciously spending time with myself every day and when we do that we just 
can't fail to notice how beautiful and talented and amazing you are. So what does it actually mean to be confident? I want to know from you in the comments, what does being confident look like for you? Because it means something different for all of us, right? I'd love to um, hear your definitions of confidence and what it actually looks like when you are confident. Please let me know in the comments, otherwise it gets very boring if it's only me talking here. Okay, the comments always show up a bit later, so while you write, I'll just continue to talk. So for me, like um, my definition of, of confidence is to just be at peace with who I am and happy to share my unique beauty with the world. So confidence for me is always a recognition of who I really am and then the willingness and, and joy of actually showing that to the world. And it's also important to think about what it looks like when we are lacking confidence. So let me know in the comments again, what does it feel like to not be confident? What do you feel instead of confidence? And this might be something very different for everybody again, which is why I'd love for you to share. Courtney, you say confidence for me, being at peace with my own mind. Mm, I like that. And your own body and heart, I guess, right? In everything that we are. Well, of course, it's always our minds that, you know, start with the negative self-talk and everything. So yeah, Courtney, I feel that, you know, peace of mind is definitely something that will boost your confidence. So... I feel that what happens when we're not confident for many of us is that we um, it actually has real really big implications on on our actions and that's the big thing about it all so when we don't feel confidence we tend to hide you know we don't show up as who we really are because we're afraid that it will not be good enough and that we'll be criticized so we hold back and we make ourselves small and there's also some people who get extremely visible and loud and act arrogantly and that is also a lack of true confidence just another way of dealing with it so i'd love to learn from you what is it that you do when you don't feel confident when you don't feel confident like how does it make you act And what's also really important is to recognize what you don't feel confident about because that can be so many different things some of us just don't like the way we look and others are really um, insecure about our own talents and abilities and you know it can be can show up in so many different ways so i'd love to hear from you in the comments what is it that that you are not confident about this will really help you in the practice that I'm going to show you later to know that in advance and also to know what kinds of situation that comes up for you because often it is certain kinds of situations that trigger insecurities in us so Kurt Courtney, you're saying, oh, hi, Karina, you're here as well. That's amazing. I just asked um, you all what you don't feel confident about, what the exact things that you don't feel confident about and what kind of situations 
you can really feel this insecurity coming up for you. So Courtney, you're saying you're a naturally anxious person. You say your mind. Okay. And when you're not confident, your mind is the first to suffer. I question everything. I lose trust in relationships and in constant need of reassurance. And when you don't get it, you feel overwhelmed with anxiety and negative emotion. Yeah, I feel it. And you know, that's often where we where we get stuck. We get stuck in the mind, you know, and the mind just um, can make us feel really insecure because then we become our own, you know, our own inner critic. The voice gets so loud and that can be so overwhelming. And for me, the trick is to get out of my mind when this kind of thing happens. And I have lots of practices that make that make that happen for me. And depending on how I feel, I use a different one. Like it could be meditation or it could be an asana practice or it could be a shamanic journey, whatever I need to silence that inner critic. And I really have to say that at this point in my life, I think my inner critic died, which is good. Um, but I used to be really stuck in my head for a long time. So I really feel you, Courtney. And I'm happy to support you in that. Let me know. You know where to find me. Okay, so feel free to, to um, post more about this and I will get back to you in the comments. So whatever it looks like for you specifically, it's obvious that it's painful. So the first question um, to ask is how can you avoid these situations? So I, I hope, <coughs> sorry. I hope you've been thinking a little bit about the kinds of situations that make you feel insecure. And the first question is, how can you avoid these situations? So some circumstances we can't easily change, but some we can. And that's the first um, great step to feel more confident because it's often easy. So I'll tell you an example from my own life. So for a very long time, I used to feel really insecure about my skin. It was just simply always red in places and whatever I did, you know, when I looked into the mirror was to, to scratch it. Like I would really look in the mirror in my eyes or my hair or my lips. I would just look for a spot of skin that was not perfect. Then I would make it even less perfect. It doesn't make any sense. It was just like the self-sabotaging thing. And when I'm really unconscious, it still happens to me sometimes. And you know, that was just, that was showing me a much deeper thing of, of where I didn't like myself. So it was really good to, for me to work with that. And, you know, it's so interesting because of, instead of seeing the 98% of my skin that was totally smooth and beautiful, I would go for the 2% that weren't great. And that's what we tend to do. We tend to pick on what's not great about ourselves without seeing all of the other beautiful things. And that's just a shame. And so the first thing is really to think about how can you practically avoid these kinds of things. And what I actually did is, um, and that really helped me to just be more confident about what I looked like, you know, beautiful skin or not, um, is to throw away my mirrors. <laughs> I just, you know, it was when I, like before I went to India and then when I was in India, I didn't have a mirror. That was a whole year of, um, not knowing what I looked like. And I didn't have makeup for two years, two years without makeup, because I would always use makeup to just cover it up, first scratch it and then cover it up. And it made me feel really bad. So I just threw away the makeup. So I knew that if I scratched, then I would have to face that. And that's how I learned to be more confident about what I looked like by just not knowing what I looked like. And I know that's extreme, but you can see what I mean. There's always a practical thing that we can do to avoid situations that make us feel insecure. Like something less extreme would have maybe been to not have any harsh light in the bathroom and to light candles instead or something like that, you know? So you can think about what that kind of little adjustment might be in your situation, in your unique circumstances. So if you're thinking of something, then let me know in the comments um, how you can avoid the situations that make you feel less than confident and how you can change them somehow. Karina, you're saying you're lacking confidence that I'm enough. 
Yeah, the, the I am, I'm not enough belief is really one of the, the things that I see most in almost like everybody I know, you know, it's this thing of when we were criticized in early childhood, we just learned that we were somehow not, not good enough the way we are and not enough. We had to be more. So I constantly see people, you know, trying to give more to others and to do more and, you know, think more. And it's like, it's become this thing in our society where we all feel like we have to even to justify our very existence. And that's just very sad. So I think it's very good that you're aware of that, Karina. And I look forward to supporting you on the journey to feeling that you're more than good enough and more than enough or just the right amount of Karina. Okay, great. So, um, and obviously sometimes we can't see, you know, what a practical way to change situations that, that make you feel insecure could be. Um, you know, for example, in, in your, like, say you don't feel confident in your office environment. Um, obviously you can't quit your job from one day to the other, but you could simply make the decision that this environment will feel different to you. And that sounds easy, but it's actually a really powerful way of doing things to take decisions. You're, you're just going to be like, okay, from now on, I'm going to feel different in the office. And it might not happen from one day to the other, but you can affirm this decision again and again. And you don't have to know how it's going to happen, but the universe works in mysterious ways. And, you know, you just have to know what you want and what you don't want, and then take a decision and trust that it will unfold. And what I want to share with you now is a very practical tool that you can use on a daily basis to boost your confidence. It's a five minute asana sequence. I hope you all got your yoga mat. It is really super simple and I'm sure that you will feel the power straight away. And it's also the kind of practice that will keep you from taking yourself too seriously because we'll be doing a lot of ah and opening our mouths wide and this kind of stuff. Don't get scared. It's, it's fun. It's good. Um, but you'll definitely be able to, you know, it's, it's sometimes it's good when we're not so strict with ourselves, not so uptight about stuff, you know, it's, we don't want to have this attitude of, Oh, I have to change. You know, it's not like that. Um, the first step in any kind of transformational process is always acceptance of the way we are. So I find that doing a slightly unusual practice, um, like this is good fun. Okay, so I will just check the comments to see if we've made anything more. Okay, good. No more comments for me to answer. Then we will start the practice. Um, so first, before we actually do the practice alongside the inner work that I'm going to show you, this is actually shamanic asana, this is not pure yoga, but that's why I find it so extra powerful. But first I want to just um, go through the body postures so that later I don't have to um, tell you about details. I think I have to go a little bit more back so that you will see me in all of the postures. So the first one is just like that. This is very simple. It's just going to be four different postures, one of which we'll do twice. Very simple. So the first one is just the kneeling. Very simple. And the second one is child pose. So we just go down and we put the, the forehead, we rest it on the floor and we rest the hands in front of us, just like that. And here it's all about making sure that your whole body is really relaxed. And when you come up, then we'll do a really funny one. So we open the knees about the width of your, your yoga mat. And we put the palms onto the floor and the fingers look backwards. 
and the arm should be really straight and you should transfer a, a bit of your weight onto the arms and you, you really arch your back it's like you're leng lengthening your spine and then you tilt your head backwards and this is that posture and we will be as we breathe in we breathe in through the nose and when we breathe out, we are going to sound an ah. So it's going to be like this. Ah. And you see I stretched my tongue out as well. It's going to be like that. And um, from here, we will go into this. I hope more. My head is a little bit cut, but you can just you see me. We come here, and now we want to arch back a little bit, but we don't want to arch from the lower back. So make sure that your pelvis is tucked forwards a little bit, and we arch the back, but only the upper spine. So we arch back, and we look upwards, and this is where we really open the chest area. It's going to look like this. And from here, we will just come back into child pose. So very simple. And now we will go through that and actually do the inner work of boosting our confidence. Okay. So let's get started. So by now I want you to close your eyes. And really take a moment to arrive here in the present with yourself in this space. Connect to your breathing. Long and deep breaths in and out. Let go of any tension in your body. Soften your brows. Let all the tension go from the tiny muscles around your eyes. Relax your jaw. Soften your belly. Relax your shoulders. And from here we come down into child pose. And as we lie in child pose, we want to really feel into what's blocking our confidence really feel into what you don't feel confident about. And then we come up and we open the knees and we lean onto our arms and arch the back. And now we always breathe in through the nose. And as we breathe out through the mouth, sounding ah, we imagine that all of what we've just been thinking about is leaving our body and mind. So we're really breathing out everything that's blocking our confidence. Ah. 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 
feel that you know everything that's been heavy in you and maybe you feel insecure is when you breathe that then you come into the kneeling position and from here you come up you open your arms you stretch back and here we focus on breathing in and we breathe through the nose and as we breathe in we welcome in our confidence with every breath we take in, we feel more confident. It's like our whole heart space just expands and our essence is magnified with every breath we take in. One more deep breath in, we feel and bring full confidence. And when you feel all full of yourself in the best way, you can just come back into child pose and just feel into what you're feeling in the present moment. And then you can come up, and that's it. And hopefully you can feel what this practice is doing. Like, I just really feel a lot better every time I'm doing this. I don't know, for me this is really doing an amazing thing. And I hope you could feel that already. And maybe you also have to practice it more to actually feel the effect. So please do let me know in the comments how you like this practice and yeah. So, you know, what I just showed you is such a simple tool, but it's really powerful. And it can actually really take you very far if you practice it regularly. And what I will do is, um, until the court meeting in two weeks, I will practice this every morning after getting getting up in addition to the love and compassion practice that I showed you in the in the live a few days ago that I'm doing in the evenings. So if you feel that you need this kind of practice, if you feel that this is of help to do and feeling of help to you and feeling more confident, then this might be a great way to actually do it because um, we can all do it together and um, we're going to be here to lovingly hold you accountable. I'm not seeing any comments yet. Courtney, Karina, Clarissa, Anne Marie. Sometimes the comments are really slow to come up. I'd love to know how you like this practice. And what I also wanted to touch upon is that, you know, ultimately the only thing that will take you all the way to feeling truly confident is to commit to learning how to be at peace with who you are. And, you know, once you have looked at your old wounds and given yourself a, a chance to correct limiting beliefs and when you really practice self-love daily, then 
yeah, that's really when you'll start to feel more confident. Because how can we be confident about who we are if, if we can't even become present with ourselves, with our bodies and our minds and our hearts in the present moment on a regular basis? You know, that's really the first lesson to learn. And it really only takes a decision on your part. So it's kind of like the decision, yes, you know, I'm, I'm ready to commit to myself. And I'm ready to learn how to really love myself and be at peace with all of who I am, body, mind, heart and soul. And, and to actually show that to the world and be really, truly confident. And yes, it takes courage to, to take that decision. And, and I know I'm very confident that you have that courage. So when you're ready to take that decision, I'm here to help you, as you well know and to hold your hand all the way and you know where to find me so let me just check your comments yeah the compassion practice is still up courtney and i'm doing it every evening so i'm, I'm letting you know every day in a post um how i'm doing with the practice and i'm happy for all of you to share uh, it's just scroll down a little bit and you'll find it. I post it regularly again because I do it so much. So it's two lives because it just broke up in the middle of the live. Um, but they're short enough and the practice is in the second one. So yeah, easy enough to do. And yeah, so I hope this was helpful to all of you. That's everything I wanted to share for tonight. And is there a cousin? Well, <clears throat> You love the asana. Good. He said, after first <clears throat> boost, a bunch of insecurities regarding the job application I had sent earlier today popped up. Yes. So, Karina, that's actually really normal that when we get present with those insecurities, that they come up, but they come up to be felt and to be released. So that's actually really good. So just do that practice again and again, and you'll feel that it will get a lot easier to and release the insecurities and to stay in that confident place. But it's very normal in the beginning that this, um, that your insecurities can come up like this. And I'm glad you're saying this because I wanted to tell you that anyways. Great. Amazing. Um, ladies, I look forward to connecting you to you again soon. This weekend, there will be a three day challenge. Um, it's going to be it's going to be called the shamanic yoga initiation because it's actually a, an intro that I'm creating for my program, which is already running. But I realized that my program, my one one year program, the shamanic yoga transformation really needs an intro where I show how you can actually um, set an intention and consciously create your life through really um, welcoming in and like welcoming in what you want and letting go of what doesn't serve you anymore. So I'm gonna create that intro for the women in my program, but I'm gonna make it the intro available to all of you. So you can really all benefit from that because it's a, it's a powerful process in itself. So that's gonna happen this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday at 4 p.m. CET. And I hope to see many of you there. Great, lots of love to you all and see you soon. Bye-bye.